What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for TheLions.com, PlayPicks.com. Let's talk some PGA Championship, shall we? The second major of the year, as always. Everything we do, absolutely free. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section which guys you're backing for the PGA Championship. Guys, you can see right here on the screen, we got golf content all over the place here. So be sure, come in, check out everything we got. I mean, we've got literally, I mean, we've got statistic stuff. We've got course previews. We've got full breakdown of betting cards, all the different stuff like that. So just come in, come up here, click on golf and all this content stuff. And, and we'll be sure and anything you need, absolutely free. Now we're going to click this prop finder here. And let's talk about five different bets I've already made for the PGA Championship that are in my account as we sit right now. This first one's a two for one. So it's actually six bets, but we'll call it this one because it's just outright bets. And first outright bet we're going to make, and you're going to say, oh, Matt, you're really stepping out on a limb whenever you say Rory McIlroy. But guess what? I'm playing Rory McIlroy here. 16 to 1 are the best odds we're going to be getting right now. You could have gotten 18, 20, 22, something like that if we'd have bet this a little bit earlier. But hey, we'll take the 16 that is available to us. Look, Rory, if you go and you look, Rory's had some pretty good finishes here of late. The problem is he hasn't been contending on Sunday to really get home on any of these. That's the only reason he's not top of mind as we head into this tournament. Listen, I made a bunch of different models for this tournament. If you go here over the last 50 rounds for the things that I weighted that I think is important in this tournament, I add in difficult scoring relative to par because we expect this to be a difficult course. I add in over 7,400 yards because, by the way, this course plays over 7,400 yards. Rory McIlroy, number one in my model. Not only number one, number one with a bullet. Look at this. Number one tee to green. Number one ball striking. Number one driving distance. Number two bogey avoidance. Number one greens in regulations gain. Number one. Par fours, 450 to 500 yards. And by the way, the two things he's not number one or two in, he's 21st and 42nd in this field in around the green and scrambling. Rory McIlroy, for me, a big-time outright play. I think Rory is knocking on the door here of kind of getting back into real relevance here. Now we'll go in another guy that has been absolutely amazing of late, Jordan Spieth. And look, his number is not exactly where we'd want it. You can find a 20 out there. Could have gotten a little bit better earlier in the week. But Jordan Spieth has absolutely been tearing it up as well. Whenever we come over here and you look at these like long-term, maybe not these models right here, but when we go to some of the short-term stuff, you start to see Jordan Spieth's game come around. You see right here, Jordan Spieth comes in at 10th overall in this model. And listen, he would be higher if it wasn't for driving distance, which really I just put in driving distance because I think it's going to be important to get to these incredibly long par fives. But Jordan is is long enough. And honestly, if you watch this past weekend, I think he's gotten longer off the tee. If you watch his ball speed is up, there's a lot of positive signs for Jordan off the tee as well. And again, he'd be higher in this model than 10th if it wasn't for the fact that he's been dealing with, you know, a, a little bit of driving distance issues, but I honestly believe he's worked on that and got that thing back to where you want it to be. Jordan Spieth, again, sneaky, kind of really good over the last year, even though he hasn't been able to uh, to be up there with like a, you know, a Scotty Scheffler or something like that. But if you look, you know, we got a win, we got a second, all of that very recently here for Jordan Spieth. Really do love him here at 20 to one. Okay, so that counts as one. Let's go to a second bet that is already in my account and we are going to go to Aaron Wise we're going to play Aaron Wise in the top 40 market here and we're still getting plus 180 over on DraftKings nearly two to one our money for Aaron Wise by the way everything that we're looking for here in this tournament Aaron Wise brings to the table again long-term success 12th overall in this model that's last 50 rounds that we're looking at. If I take out difficult scoring conditions with uh, with this, look, what it does is for Aaron Wise bumps him down a little to 26th in the model. That is actually a good thing for us because these are going to be very difficult scoring conditions in this tournament. We're talking seven, eight, 
maybe nine wins this thing. It could be worse depending on what this course plays like with these trees that they've removed and how bad the wind actually gets at this place. And so Aaron Wise, again, way higher, way higher in my model than what the odds present. Really do like Aaron Wise as a top 40 finish here at plus 180. Our next bet that we are going to make is a guy that, listen, hasn't been on tour all that long, but he has made the most of it, and that's Will Zalatoris. And we want Will Zalatoris to be inside the top 20 at the PGA. You can find it. Rivers 163 points, bet 160 on Will Zalatoris. All this guy has done is basically proven everything we've ever thought about guys coming off the Corn Ferry Tour, being rookies, not having a ton of experience, and he's just throwing it right out the window. All Will Zalatoris has done is stepped up at every single challenge faced him, and he has stood up to the test. And Will Zalatoris is another one of these guys that whenever we look and we start to get up into these models and really dig down deep into what these guys bring to the table, and you get here and you say like, hey, look, Will Zalatoris, it's just steady Eddie except for the scrambling, right? Now, listen, that's the scrambling stuff I'm not all that worried about when it comes to this because the around the green numbers are good for Zalatoris. And so, you know, look, everything's not going to always add up for us on Will Zalatoris. And all, also, let's, let's, let's be honest, we're not asking him to win. We want to finish top 20 here in this tournament and get us plus 160 on our money. Will Zalatoris, runner-up at a major already, has performed extremely high in tough fields. This is the toughest field in golf. It's going to be a grind. Will Zalatoris had meant for the birdie fests. He's meant for stuff like this. He's meant for tournaments like this, courses like this, setups like this. Will Zalatoris, top 20, is going to be our third bet. Our fourth bet that we go to, and again, by the way, I'm finding all this in our prop finder. You just go to the lines right off the home page. It's sitting right there, prop finder. Make sure you just get the best number possible out there. Don't rob yourself of making the most money that you can make. Our next guy is somebody that, again, along the Will Zalatoris line is Cameron Young. This guy actually is a rookie on tour. If you came to me and said you wanted to play 80-1 to on the outright, do I think he wins? No, I'm not going to talk you off making that bet. But what I will say is what I really love is this top 20 finish for Cam Young, and we're getting plus 275, nearly 3-1 to on our money. If we go and we start to look at these models, it is really ridiculous whenever we take a look at a guy that is has so little experience on tour and where he starts to show up on these models. So we go here, Cameron Young, 24th here and you look across if it wasn't for greens and regulation imagine where he would be in this he's 24th in the model imagine if he wasn't 104th in greens regular greens and regulation and here's the other thing about greens and regulation right if he doesn't hit the green and regulation this is where how his scrambling comes into play and how good he is at scrambling this guy has gone out as a rookie on tour and been absolutely dynamic, has been absolutely phenomenal so far in everything that he has brought to the table. And it is very tough for me at the odds that are being presented for us not to get some sort of bet in on him. Like I said, if you wanted to tell me a guy that's 12th in this model, if you wanted to say, hey, by the way, I'm going to play him outright, go right ahead. I I, I don't think he wins the tournament, but 80 to 1 is way too long. But a top 20 finish, nearly getting 3 to 1, love that on Cameron Young. And finally, our last one, we're going to find this in the prop finder. I'll just bring you over here to DraftKings. We're going to play a matchup, and we're going to play Scotty Scheffler over John Rahm here. It's e- there's, there's, there's even money here on this. Like, we're not having to pay. Um, we're not having to pay more juice on Scheffler or anything like that. It's minus 110 on both sides. And let's talk a little bit about John Rahm. And even though he's one of the best golfers in the entire world, Do you know where he does not excel, weirdly enough, is around the green. This course has small greens. This course has shelved greens. This course has runoff. This course is likely to have wind to where good iron play isn't necessarily going to get rewarded every single time. 
And if that's the case, you're going to have to be able to be a wizard around the greens. You're going to need to save par. You're going to need to chip close. You're going to need to do all these different things. And guess what? That's the one thing, weirdly enough, that John Rahm doesn't excel at. If we go into the model and we look over the last 50 rounds, strokes gained around the green, so his last 50 rounds comparatively to the field, John Rahm is 70th in this field in strokes gained around the green over the last 50 rounds. If we lessen that to the last 36 rounds, so we start getting a little bit closer, a little bit more recent form, last 36 rounds, he's 91st in this field. If we go to 24 rounds, he's 131st in this field. By the way, there's only 156 golfers. He's 131st in the field in strokes gained around the green. For whatever reason, every single thing else is working for John Rahm's game except around the green. Here's the deal. It doesn't really have to be all that good when you're as good as, as he is with the irons. The problem is, it's just this course and maybe the conditions with the wind and all that are not, are not going to always reward great iron play. Sometimes you can hit a good shot that's going to get punished and you're going to have to be able to save par. You're going to have to be able to chip. You're going to have to be able to play around the green. And for whatever reason, that has not been John Rahm's strong point, not just recently, but long-term as well. So we're going to play Scheffler over John Rahm here, the hottest player in the world, the number one player in the world. And we're getting him at the same price. We're getting John Rahm. We're going to play the head to head on Scotty Scheffler guys, as always, everything we do absolutely free. At the lines, you can see all this golf content. I just showed you the prop finder where you can go in and you can make sure that you're getting the best number on any one of these props that you want to play. Whether it be an outright, a top five, top 10, top 20, top 30, top 40, whatever it might be, all of that you can find right here by typing in a golfer's name and let the let the little search engine do the work for you. Make sure you're getting the best no money, uh, the best number for your money here. And then also, this is the Discord right up here. You can join in that. And guess what? We're giving away free money. Free contests, free to play, and real money. Just join the Discord, get the details over there, but it's absolutely free. Just got to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel as you watch this. Guys, this is going to be a super awesome tournament. The best field all year long, the deepest field all year long. The course conditions should make it to where the cream rises to the top here. I cannot wait. Good luck on all your bets here in the PGA Championship.